Chapter 1, Lesson 9, Divide with Decimals. Our learning objective is you will divide whole numbers and decimals by decimals. Our essential question is how do you divide whole numbers and decimals by decimals? Okay, we're going to go ahead and fill out this connect before we get started on actually dividing the decimals. So it says find each quotient to discover a pattern. So 4 divided by 2 is 2. 40 divided by 20 is also 2. 400 divided by 200 is also 2. So when you multiply both the dividend and the divisor by the same power of 10, the quotient is the same. You can use this fact to help you divide decimals. So as all it's saying is if we multiply 4 by 10 and 2 by 10 and divide those numbers, it's going to equal the same quotient no matter how many zeros we add on. So 4,000 divided by 2,000 is also going to be 2. And that's going to be important with our lesson today, which is dividing decimals by decimals. Okay, so on unlock the problem. It says, Tammy is training for a triathlon. In a triathlon, athletes compete in three events, swimming, cycling, and running. She cycled 66 and 5 tenths miles in 3 and 5 tenths hours. If she cycled at a constant speed, how far did she cycle in one hour? So remember, compatible numbers are pairs of numbers that are easy to compute mentally because it says over here, divide those two numbers. So divide 66.5 divided by 3.5. So estimate using compatible numbers. Now, if we are estimating, normally you just round. So 66.5 would round up to 70. And 3.5 would round up to 4. 70 divided by 4 is not a very easy um, equation to compute mentally. So when I look at these numbers, I see 6 and 3. To me, 60 divided by 3 would be way easier to do just in my head. Because I know that 60 divided by 3 is 20. Step one, make the divisor a whole number by multiplying the divisor and the dividend by 10. So 3 and 5 tenths, if I multiply it by 10, I get 35. Now I have to do the same thing to both the divisor and the dividend. I can't do it for one and not the other. So then I have to take 66 and 5 tenths and multiply that by 10, which gets me 665. Now, I just have a normal problem down here. I have 665 divided by 35, and I just do division from there. So I know that 35 goes into 66 one time, which is going to be 35. 66 minus 35 gives me 31, and then i got to bring down my 5, so 315. If I take 35 times 9, 7, 9, 30, 31, looky there, it gets me 315. When I subtract those, I get 0 left. So Tammy cycled 19 miles in one hour. I do not have to put a decimal back in because I don't have a decimal in my equation anymore. So I don't have to worry about lining any of that up. So it's just 19 miles in one hour. Okay, now let's look at example one. There we go. Okay, example one. Divide 17 and 25 hundredths divided by five and seventy five hundredths and then check our answer. So step one is we're going to get rid of these decimals. So since my divisor and dividend have two decimal places, I'm going to multiply them both by what? Okay, so I should have multiplied both of those by one hundred. Because when I do that, I move that decimal place over two times so that I can actually Divide hold numbers. So 5 and 75 hundredths multiplied by 100 gives me 575. 17 and 25 hundredths multiplied by 100 gives me 1725.
So now I can just make this a normal equation. So 575 divided by, or 17, geez, 1725 divided by 575. I'm going to go ahead and guess and check. Let's take 575 times 2. Because I know 500 and 1,000 are pretty close. 5 times 2, 10, 1. 7 times 2 is 14, plus 1 is 15. 10, 11. Not quite enough, so let's try it again. Let's take it times 3. 5 times 3 is 15. Bring it by 1. 7 times 3 plus 1 is 22. 15, 16, 17, that is the number that I need. So it goes in three times, and I'm going to subtract 1,725, which gives me zero as my remainder. Now to check this problem, you can multiply 575 times, or not 575, let's add in our decimal. 5 and 75 hundredths multiplied by 3, which we already did the math over here, but if we did it again, 2, 2, 17, then we have to add in two decimal places, which gives me 17 and 25 hundredths, so that does work. So 17 and 25 hundredths divided by 5 and 75 hundredths is 3. So we're just getting moving that decimal over we have to do the same to both the dividend and the divisor and then we're doing regular division okay now we're going to look at it if we don't have the same number of decimal places in both numbers so we make the divisor a whole number by multiplying the divisor and the dividend by let's look at this so this has two decimal places but this only has one we still need to get rid of the decimals, so we're going to multiply them both by 100 so that both numbers are where we don't have a decimal. So we're going to take 14 hundredths multiplied by 100, which is going to give us 14. And then I'm going to take 37 and 8 tenths multiplied by 100. When I have that number, I have 37 and 8 tenths. I'm going to move that decimal place over two times, which means I need to keep that, hold that place value by adding in a zero. So that's going to give me 3,780. And now we just divide. 14 goes into 37 two times, which is 28. 37 minus 28 is 9. Bring down this 8, 98. 14 goes into 98 seven times, which is 98. 98 minus 98 is zero. Bring down my zero. Since I brought it down, I still have to add that in. So 14 goes into zero, zero times, which is minus zero, zero remaining. You cannot just end at 27 because we have to fill this place value. So you have to add that in there to keep that value, okay? So 37 and 8 tenths divided by 14 hundredths is 270, okay? Error alert, read this. It says be careful to move the decimal point and the dividend the same number of places that you moved the decimal point in the divisor. You can't move this one twice and this one only once. That won't work. You've got to keep the same place values. Okay, so how can you check the quotient is reasonable and how can you check that it is accurate? Remember that you can just go back through and flip this into a multiplication problem to check to see if your answer makes sense. Okay, if you had any questions on this lesson, it is your responsibility to ask your teacher. So please be doing that. And our learning objective is you will divide whole numbers and decimals by decimals. So that's what we practiced here.